My name is Pamela Downey. I am a licensed mental health counselor in the state of Florida um, and a therapist in private practice as well as here at Gulf Breeze Recovery. So making some distinctions, when people think about trauma, they think about PTSD. However, trauma is an experience all in of itself, whether or not it happens to evolve into post-traumatic stress disorder or other stress-related disorders is to distinguish between big T trauma and what we call small T trauma now. Um, it's important because I think um, when one experiences trauma, the natural inclination is to invalidate your experience. Um, that all of this is somehow accumulating in a way that is um, self-directing to be your fault but also to what become adaptive responses to them and attempt to feel better, such as with the substance, such as with the experience of addiction. Big T trauma is the stuff we think of when we think of trauma. We think of um, war, we think of combat, we think of car accidents, um, sexual violence, violence, um, abuse, etc. What we don't think about are the small insidious ways in which we're impacted by all of our experiences and maybe carrying them forward in some kind of a way that doesn't serve us. That be, may be diagnosable as PTSD and it may not. Um, but either way, it's an experience of trauma that a person carries forward into their life in some way that uh, comes to not serve them. A lot of what we see actually in treatment centers is um, relational trauma uh, and traumas that we call, we've come to refer to as developmental trauma or complex PTSD. Small t trauma simply means that it's occurred over and over again and it may not have necessarily been a life-threatening trauma, but it has had a, a, a profound and long-term impact, again, on how we see ourselves and how we see the world around us, so much so that it gets in the way of our relationships, impacts our behaviors, and even worse, we can't point to where it started or where it came from without professional help oftentimes. And when we see that, we see something that someone is carrying from the past projected into their present experience through their present lens. Um, again, something that really intersects with what we teach at Gulf Breeze Recovery um, concerning the three principles. Understanding that our psychological experience from moment to moment is coming via our thinking, whether we're conscious of that thinking or not. Then we might look further to see how deep that thread um, is interwoven into the person's history, into their relationships, into their behaviors, um, into their distresses, um, and, and thereby really uncovering not just a symptom, not just a diagnosis, not just post-traumatic stress or response to a trauma, but what their response is living moment to moment, being who they are and how they see themselves. That's the real trauma. If we don't have a lens through which to see ourselves independent of experiences we've had, atrocities we've lived through, um, you know, traumas we've experienced, then um, we're at a loss to know where to go from here. Something that we've always paid attention to is the whole person and not just their addiction. Um, you know, that can take center stage really quickly for very understandable reasons. Um, but whether it's about the diagnostics of understanding what someone's substance use disorder looks like and how it's impacted them, so too do we want to take a very careful, thoughtful, comprehensive look at what they have experienced in their life that has been of traumatic impact to them. Um, and I think we do that beautifully here, um, and I'm privileged to be a part of it.